what? Did that thing just add 30 seconds of flight time by adding weight? Holy catfish. Anyway, I think the result is that it probably really makes no difference, but with the modifications on and the prop guards off, there's actually an extra five grams of weight on the Tello, as well as that protruding drone keeper on the top, which does seem to affect the flips a little bit. It just takes a bit more juice to recover, I would suspect. But as for flight time, um, I don't know, hover time doesn't seem to be affected. I mean, I got an extra 30 seconds, but that could just be due to variability in the battery and whatnot. Um, yeah, so not much of a difference. That was quite surprising. Thanks to Matt North for uh, asking me about this, and that was the impetus for this video. Anyway, I hope you found that interesting. So the only thing I would expect to see, I suppose, is um, maybe slightly less flight time if you're doing a lot of banking maneuvers and a lot of um, flips and whatnot, because that extra mass that's protruding from the top is going to act as a bit of a lever and uh, it's going to require some more force from the engines to right itself, I would imagine. But anyway, it doesn't seem to be much of a difference at all. So I hope you guys uh, take some solace in that if you're doing some winter flying and want to add those mods. Anyway, peace out, keep your shield wall up, yo!